blessed to be in the house of the Lord. The Bible said that the axe is laid to the root of the tree. And if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature.
That's your foundation, like we said. You know, you got to have a good foundation. Yes. Jesus being the chief cornerstone, you got to know Jesus as your Savior. But even and he has to correct us in those days. See, he has torn us. Actually, this is also a picture of Jesus on the cross. Looks yes. like to me. Amen. Yeah, that's what God did to His Son. You know, <coughs> he, he allowed Him to be smitten, yes. torn, yes. put thorns on His head, and all that. But of course, we know what happened on the third day. Yes. That was Resurrection Day. Yes. But He's smitten, and he, but He's going to bind us up. See, even after God uh, corrects us and all that, what follows the uh, judgment? Mercy. Yes. Yes. Mercy. He just puts mercy. Even though you're a judge, you know your mercy yeah. comes upon you. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, Whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Yeah. So if you've been chasing lately, don't worry about it. The Lord loves you. Yeah. <laughs> he wants He wants to know. He wants to, he's, everything he's doing, he's working out for your good. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amounts to, he works everything out for our good. Mm -hmm. I know the, our natural man don't believe that, but our spirit man does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He works out, but he has to deal with that flesh. That natural man. He's actually taking taking the old uh, natural man and the nature of the natural man. He's not trying to hurt the person. That's right. You know, because we got when he gets all finished, God's going to have one new man. Oh, hallelujah! We're going to be both heavenly and earthly yeah. mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. We're going to be a new species. Mm -hmm. We're going to be just like him, you know, and be able to operate in the flesh in the natural too. I mean, in the, in the body, the body will be able to operate both ways. Yeah. So, in that first day, he's going to. We're going, he's going to correct us and all that. But after that, he's going to bind us up. He's going to pour in the oil and the Amen. wine. You know, the man on the Jericho roof. He had to pour in the oil and the wine. He had to, he had to correct him. He had to fix him up. He had to restore him. And after two days, he will revive us. There's your second day right there. That's the Holy Ghost. What's going to revive us is probably the Holy Ghost. He's going to give us the Holy Ghost. In that, in that second day, yeah. that's the day of Pentecost. Amen. Pentecost day is the second day. Yeah. We've been through that. We all, and then we enjoy that. But yeah. If we're going to go on a little further, we've got to leave that, you know. I mean, we're going to, if we don't forget about it, we're just going to put it all together. Yeah. Like yeah. all the ingredients <laughs> in the cake, you know, you put it all in there. Yeah. <laughs> and you come up with the cake. Right. Once you get it all together. Yeah. Amen. You can't, and once it's all put together, you can't separate them. It can become one. Yeah. <laughs> one cake. Yeah. You enjoy it. So at, after two days, he would revive us. Yeah. yeah, on that second day. That's our Pentecost day. When we're going to receive a lot of stuff on that day. Yeah. But then, we, and when we don't, we don't have to stop there. That's yeah. right. There's one more to go. Yeah. So now we're going to the Feast of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. In the third day, he's going to raise us up. Raise us yeah. up. There's your resurrection right there. What resurrection means, it means to stand up again. Yeah, That's what yeah. it means. You just going to stand up again, you know. Death, burial, and resurrection. And we will live in his sight. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. We're going to live in his sight, you know. We're going to be able to, he's going to be able to see us, and we're going to be able to see him. That's vision there when it comes to sight. Yeah. Seeing things. We're going to be able to see things. Yeah. We're going to see from a higher, uh, higher realm. Mm -hmm. Just like they said around here about the sitting on the sidewalk, you know, ground level, watching the parade go by. Right. You see so much, but when you get up in the third, uh, yes. third yeah. uh, loft up there, third room, you look around, you see most, probably all the parade. Mm -hmm. It's not too long. So your yeah. vision is greater. Mm -hmm. So us in the third day, we got to have a greater vision. Yeah. I would say that the vision the people perish. Perish, yes. Okay. But what about those people with the vision? They're not going to perish. Hallelujah. They're going to be revived. They're going to be restored and all that. But one with other vision is more or less the first day. They don't have much of a vision. They just see, see a lot of things from a natural point of view. Right. You know, this, this Bible was written by the Holy Ghost, and you've got to have the Holy Ghost about to uh, understand it. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't get the true understanding. You just get part truth. You look through a glass dark. So we are third day people. Everything we do is going to be from the third day. Everything we believe, everything we say, understanding, like that. And also the Bible says that Jesus, he also, he also preached third day. Yeah. He says, uh, what did he tell the Jews? He said, show us a sign. He says, uh, he says, I'll show you a sign. He says, 
destroy this temple. Three days. 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 Three Three days. He talked three days, you know. Three days, we're going to raise it up, you know. Yeah. That's God's uh, way he works. Mm -hmm. Death, burial, resurrection. Yeah. It's death, yeah. going to have to be death to the uh, carnal man. Yeah. Death to Adam. Adam yeah. can't be born again. Adam can't be saved, you know. Yeah. He won't, it won't work. He won't, uh, there's a war going on. Yeah. He won't uh, bow down, you know. He wants to be his own God. Yeah. Adam wants to become his own God. Yeah. And that's what we do. We have small gods. Mm -hmm. People want to become their own god, do their own thing. Right. They, don't, they don't want to submit. We have to be humble down and submit. You know? yeah. Like I said, there's only going to be one will, God's will. Mm -hmm. You can't have your will. Yeah. We, don't, we, don't, we don't have a will no more. Hallelujah. <laughs> he, took, he took it away. Yeah. <laughs> but he says, when he talks about judgment, he also mentions that judgment must first begin at the house of God. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Right in here, you know. Before we go and judge the world, he's going to judge us. Yeah. About that, you know, people's out there wanting the world judge, you know. Look at all the evil they're doing out there. They need to be corrected and judged. But first, you know, comes here. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says he comes to the Jew first. Yeah. And who's the Jew? You are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. We're, we're the Jew. Yeah. So he's going to come to those that already know about him, you know. Yeah. And, and, uh, and reveal himself to us. Yeah. It's all the revelation unto those who look for him. Yeah, will he appear the second yeah. time? Yeah. See, but well, once is looking for him. Glory. Are you looking for Jesus today? Hallelujah. Are you looking for more revelation? You know, are you looking his way? Hallelujah. Are you forgetting about our ways and taking on his ways? You know, right. and we know it says about the path of the righteous it gets brighter and brighter yeah. until the perfect day. Mm -hmm. That perfect day is when we receive full revelation. Yes. And when we full understanding. That's the third day. Everything is going to be perfected in the third day. That's the third day for Christ. We we'll talk about seventh Save day away from Adam. Seventh yeah. day away from him. Like that, and we'll be completely clean. Yeah. I'll think about uh, Nahum went down and dipped in Jordan seven times. Yeah. Then he became clean. Yeah. Uh, so all the spots are removed, weren't they? Yeah. So in the, in the third day, we're going to become clean. We're going to become victorious. Yeah. That's what God's whole plan is, you know, to bring us into the third day where we can be perfected. We have to be, you got to be trusted. He has to trust us. He has to try to test us, find out what we're made of. we got to find out what we're made of. So we got to understand as he understands. Yeah. We can't be saviors unless we, if we're going to go around and judge the people with wrong attitude. Yeah, right. we got to be, got to be saviors where we got to look beyond their faults. Yeah. Like yeah. you said, and see their needs. See their needs. And then we got, we can't see no more man after the flesh. Hey, Mary about Paul. Paul said he never never knew Jesus after the flesh. That's right. He just knew him after the spirit. Yeah. Yeah. That's all he know. That's, that's all that was planned, you know. So everything he got was uh, from revelations from the from the spirit. Yeah. Right. The Holy Ghost just gave him revelations. He never saw Jesus in the flesh. Mm -hmm. So he, and, and everything he wrote, you know, he wrote a lot of stuff in the Old Testament, all those books. I mean the New Testament, all those books. He wrote that through revelation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, much visions and much revelation. Right. He was caught up. He was even caught up in the third heaven. Yes, yeah, he was. So that's why you don't have to see him. You don't have to know him after the flesh. And they said, don't know man after the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Know him after the spirit. Yeah. So don't yeah. judge. You have to look on the outward appearance. Amen. You have to look on the heart. Yeah. yeah. So that's what God does in the third day. He takes away out to our old stony heart and gives us a new heart. We all got new hearts. Yeah. We all had we've all had a transplant, then we pray. <laughs> when you come into the kingdom you've got a new heart, you get a transplant. Yeah. 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 New oh. hearts. He dishes out new hearts. Yeah. Brother Fred he used to say to the parts house in heaven, you know, he's giving out new hearts. Yeah. Do yeah. <laughs> things like this and do that, you know. <laughs> Trying to bring it down to our level. Like right. this. That's what God is. He likes to come down to our level. Yeah. If you think about it, creation became Creator became creation. Yes, he did. Yeah. He came down, he appeared as man, you know, come down to us. He came down on our level. We couldn't go to his, he could come our level. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, uh, he appeared unto us and he came. Uh, that's the great uh, mystery of God in this. God being made in flesh, well among us. 
all that God has prepared for us. He's, he's prepared heaven for us and all that. We know that, but uh, we're, we're uh, taking care of the heavens in us. Christ in us, that was the old. Christ in us, the hope of glory. That's this mystery of the ages. That's right. He wants us to understand him. Our understanding has to be right. <coughs> we have to know. We have to follow on to know the Lord. Yeah. We just can't stop, you know. That's Some right. people like to park. Right. Park somewhere, park oh, in, this, in one one day, yeah. or or stay up in the outer court, or maybe come into the inner court of the holies. But we got to go into the most holy place. Oh, right. The most holy place is the third day. Yeah. That's behind the veil. Yeah. That's when we get full full revelation, full understanding. Totally right. you know? we, now we look through a glass darkly, but then we should be known as we are known. Yeah. God wants us to know everything about us, just like He knows it. He knows everything about us. He, knows, he declares the end from the beginning. He? Yes, he does. We can't see the end from the beginning. Probably we're not supposed to. You know, the Indian would probably scare us too much. <laughs> you know, something we had to go through. We got a trial up ahead. If we see that, we want to turn around. Yeah, and that's well. and being like Jonah, we run the other way. <laughs> you say, go to the end of it. I don't want to go the other way. You know? But he has a choice, you know. We don't, we had, he, we don't choose him. He's chosen us. Yeah. We chose him before the foundation, you know. Yeah. So we don't have a choice no more. It's all his choosing. Yeah. He chose us. And he's uh, ordained us. And he's, he's, performing, he's performing the work in us. Yeah, yeah. So, so we always come, like I said, he always comes to the Jew first, gives us understanding. And the Bible says that be of good cheer, Jesus said, I've overcome the world. I've overcome it. Yeah. overcome the world, you know, just as we. We got to be a good cheer. We've overcome the world. That's right. We got to, what's in the world is uh, lust of the eye, lust That's of the flesh, right. pride of life. life. That's the things we have to overcome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those things we don't need. Yeah. They're all temporal. Anything you see is temporal. Yeah. So the way reason why people can't understand why they can't see heavenly things because they're spiritual and they're eternal. Yeah. You don't want to see the earth. You want to see them with these eyes. Mm -hmm. You, you got to understand it through your spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. We have the Holy Ghost, and we don't see the Holy Ghost, but we we have uh, types of it uh, on this earth, you know, that mm -hmm. like the kingdom of heaven is like an under something. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we have to understand in some way, so God has to speak to us in parables and stuff like that, and give us likening, so the Holy Spirit's like in the wind, you know. Yeah. yeah. You can see it. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. Yeah. You can walk in, you can feel it, you can see yeah. the results of it, yeah. what happens, you know. When it blows, see the trees moving and everything. Mm -hmm. well, that's where the Holy Ghost is, you know. It's like that. Yeah. You can feel it, you know, on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. There's an unction in there. Yeah. It's like almost a baby inside. You feel something kick, yeah. you know. Uh, Hallelujah. You feel new. You feel good. Yeah. And the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Glory. Well, right. It excites your spirit. Yes. You got a spirit in there, mm -hmm. which is a candle of the Lord. Yeah. And, he, and when he gets yeah. ready to light it, yeah. and he lights it up and, and your understanding. You know? Yeah. Your understanding is enlightened, you know, yeah. the eyes of your understanding. Because you can start seeing, you can understand, and you start believing. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Things like that. That's what the, yeah. the works of God is that we believe. Mm -hmm. So He wants us to believe in Him. Yeah. We gotta, and as I say, we've got to follow on and know the Lord mm -hmm. until Christ be formed in us. <coughs> the whole idea is this whole new man is to mm -hmm. become like Jesus. Yeah. We sing a lot of songs to be like Jesus, you know. Mm -hmm. Even they sing it in the Pentecostal realm and all that. A lot of songs they sing, you think they believe it. <laughs> but they, they don't believe that what they sing. They say, yes, I know Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean, you know. Right. But let that sinner make a mistake, you know. Or oh, God. God. It's, all, it's all over with, you know. I might say, God, I was called a second chance, and that's it. He ain't going to get a third chance. Oh, God. God, you know. They, they condemn a man, you know. Yeah. Right. Jesus yeah. didn't condemn him. <coughs> he helped tell him to go and say no more. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, the, the Bible says to him to do do good and do with it not. That's yeah. right. To him is a yeah. sin. That's, yeah. right. that's kind of a rough statement right there. Yeah. 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 The sin. <laughs> we better tone that down, man. <laughs> change that word uh, from sin to disobedient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do it right, it's just disobedient. Yeah. Does that sound better? <laughs> yeah, God, you know. In, in the first realm, we have to be like a child. We have to be told what to do and everything. Yeah. When we're first 
get saved, you know. Mm-hmm. Almost have to be invited to go to church. The preacher may have to call us a time or two and say, don't forget it's a Sunday. Be right. ready to come to church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here but, you know, that's, that's the child's realm. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. The Bible talks about when you live as a child, you speak as a child, you right. know, that mm-hmm. you, you did childish things. Yeah. You wait on some, you look for somebody else to wait on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You work for you, you know. Yeah. It'll help you that way. Mm-hmm. But then when you, you become a kid in the second realm, mm-hmm. the second day, you know, that's when you start growing up. Yeah. 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 There is a growth period here involved. Yeah. In this yeah. Thing. Yeah. But that's where we have to follow on. We just yeah. got to grow on. We got to grow up in God. Yeah. Grow up in Him. And in that realm, you know, we start doing things for ourselves. Right. It's just like your children, you know, when they get so old, when they get teenagers. They can do things for themselves, they yeah. put away all their childhood yes, toys and stuff. Yes, yes. They start doing, start taking care of themselves. Mm-hmm. That's what God wants us to do, take care of ourselves, you know. Yeah. He's going to help us, but He also wants us to grow up and don't be a baby about things, you know. Yeah. Don't have to ask for every little thing. Should I do this or should I do that, you know. Mm-hmm. Some things we know, we don't worry. Right. Yeah, you know? yeah. We know we should be a church, you know. Mm-hmm. It says, for sake not to assemble in it. Why won't you want to come, you know? Yeah. Where is the Holy Ghost at? Where is the where's the word being preached? You know? All right. Where is the food given out at the spiritual yeah. food, you know? Yeah. It's mostly in, in the church. You gotta find the right time to make a good church. Yeah. yeah. But you shouldn't you shouldn't lay in the church, you know. Mm-hmm. Right. That's uh and stay home, you got no reason. You you want to you should, there's a fellowship and there's also strength and unity. Yeah. Things like that. So yeah. You don't want to be around fellow fellow brothers, you know. Mm-hmm. And then when you come to church, you can bring something with you. Yeah. You can bring a smile, be happy about it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Say something might have a song, testimony, or yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. say it like that, you know. Mm-hmm. So there, there's a reason to come to church. Mm-hmm. If you just don't come to yourself, maybe you need to come to help somebody else. Well, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Or to help yourself. That's like in teaching. The Bible says he who teaches others also teaches himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, mm-hmm. It's all right to be a teacher, you know, because you can teach yourself at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so, because if you got to teach, you know, what you got to do? You're going to spend a little more time studying. Yeah. Kind of yeah. preparing more. If you ain't going to be a teacher, you say, well, all I got to do is come to church. I really ain't got <laughs> too much studying today. You know, it ain't going to take much, uh, much understanding or much uh, knowledge or much preparation. You just come and sit on the pew. <laughs> But you gotta get up and teach, you know. You gotta, right. you wanna spend a couple, three extra hours, you know, reading oh, this, studying that, mm-hmm. and searching out the scriptures. The yeah. Bible says, search the scriptures. Yeah. You yeah. think you have eternal life, isn't it? Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta get up, you know. You gotta, you gotta step up to the plate. Yeah. <laughs> get out there and swing the bat. Right. <laughs> you know, start talking about the things of God, you know. Yeah. But we shouldn't have no trouble doing that because we ought to be able to talk about Jesus. Yeah. Let's talk about Jesus, you know. Mm-hmm. We sing all the songs about him and everything. So right. We, we just need to live them on all and also we gotta sing third third day songs too. Yeah. You know, yeah. We can't be out there singing some song that talks about death and defeat or anything right. or what okay. was me and I'm just a human, you know, or right. you know, things yeah. like that. Right. I'm just a sinner saved by grace, things like that. Can't sing them songs. No. Right. You gotta sing the victory songs. Yeah. You gotta sing the mm-hmm. songs that lift you up. Yeah. You gotta sing songs about being uh, an eagle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eagle saint, you know? Because yeah. eagle eagle is the one that has all the sight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He, he has higher sights. You yeah. Know? yeah. He can go up high, he can see a long oh, ways yeah. off. Yeah. You know? We sing the song here, Abraham, how far can you see? Say, line, line up with the sons of God. How far can you see? Yeah. We got to see often. That's you got. That's where you got. That's why you got to be in the third day. Yeah. Because you can see more. Right. You can understand more. You know. Mm-hmm. There's only so much revelation you'll get the first day and second day. Mm-hmm. There's just so much there. God's still there. He ain't yeah. left that days. Right. Uh, the light ain't too bright. Right. It might be a candle. Yeah. Like uh, years ago, before they had electricity, you have to read under a candle or a lamp. That wasn't very good for the eyes. <laughs> Nowadays, you got the bright lights, you know, so yeah. it's easier on the eyes, yeah. more understanding. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, that's why it's, as it progresses in the natural, so it progresses in the spirit. Yeah. You know, things just move right along. Right. It's all new stuff, brand new stuff. Mm-hmm. And all wisdom comes from God, you know. Some people don't think they ought to go to the doctor, you know, at all. But uh, God gives the doctor 
wisdom. Sure. The thing about wisdom comes from God. So yeah. Yeah. You have to be uh, a little, uh, what you call, lost the word there now. <laughs> Incomfortable. You have to be a uh, level. Anyway, you got to be on the level with it, you know. Yeah. With it, you know. Wow. On, on the. Uh,
beginning, and your uh, end is going to be better than your beginning, yeah. and all that, that's the way it's going to be. Yeah. You can't override his will. Mm -hmm. God's will can't be overridden, you know. He says, well, in all kinds of affairs, he says, yeah. if I be lifted up, I will draw all things oh, unto me. And where was he lifted up? He was lifted up on the cross. Yeah. There's where he was lifted up. And you're going to draw all men. That's right. And all means creation. All right. Yeah. See, that'll yeah. just mean whosoever will. No. I mean, there is whosoever will. Mm -hmm. And also God uses uh, preaching and all that to get people. I mean, God ain't going to do it by himself. No. He, he wants some help. That's yeah. right. And the help is uh, his saints, mm -hmm. preachers, all those. Yeah. You know, he's going to work on helping. Mm -hmm. He's going to help bring in the harvest. Yeah. That's why the first fruits has to be uh, all got, got to know everything about God. Got to have the heart of God. Yeah. Yes. You got to have yeah. His heart. You know. Yeah. David was a man after God's own heart. Yeah. And we have to be a man after God's own heart. <coughs> if we got the heart of God in us, then we ain't gonna condemn nobody. That's right. You know, we're gonna see everybody saved. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's that's hard for the first or second day to believe. Yeah. Can't handle that. <laughs> yeah. Can't handle that at all. Salvation for every man. Yeah. You know, this thing. It's over with. But see, God, not only is God the God of the living, but He's also a God of the dead. Yeah. Just because you die, I don't mean you, you're away from God. Mm -hmm. uh, no, jo Jonah said, uh, when I was in the belly of hell, yeah. God was there with me. Yeah. Yeah. David right. said, if I make my bed in hell, right. yeah. you're there. God's right there. Yeah. So uh, God's everywhere. Hallelujah. Sing songs and like we'll sing and dance and shout when there's no man left in hell. Amen. Amen. I'm brave enough to write songs. Hallelujah. So there's gonna there's gonna be a time when everything's gonna be cleared up. Yeah. It's gonna be all in all. For yeah. You know, it's gonna be a complete finished work. For yeah. Yeah. So like we said, God, Jesus finished His work on the on the cross. That's a finished work for Him. Yeah. And now we got a finished work for us. His work is going to be finished in us. It's truly finished. He's prepared us. He's prepared us to come into His kingdom. Yeah. So we're walking and living in the, in the, in the good days. Yes. This is the greatest day to be alive. Yeah. In the yeah. And no better day than today. Hey. We are today. Yeah. yeah. For, his, for His day that He's called on. Called on.
goes on. Yeah. There's, there's no stopping. The, the, the mysteries of God are unsearchable, you know. They're forever. And there's no, there's nothing in God, there's nothing in God that's going to uh, be destroyed. Yeah. He says, uh, you know, they never change. God says, I am the Lord God, and I change not. Yeah. Uh, therefore, we yeah. sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right. So we can't change. And Jesus said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, yeah. so we can't change. Uh, we, can, we have to change, you know that. You know? We have to change. From, like we said, we have to go from glory to glory. From here to here. Uh, from higher, from lower levels to higher levels. Places yeah. like that. We have to follow on to know the Lord. Uh, we got to be, have our understanding and light every day. Yeah. In other words, our inner man got to be renewed yeah. day by day. This ain't a one thing deal. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. This whole yeah. thing is a lifestyle. Uh, you just yeah. can't uh, leave it and take a vacation and come back to it or something yeah. like that. Uh, no, we got to live it every day. Yeah. We got to live it, breathe it. It's got to be our number one thing. Yeah. You know, living for God. That's it. You know. Yeah. When we do that, things of earth grow dim and kind of lose the value. We still deal with earthly things, but they don't have that much value. Yeah. You know, they're not that. They're not extremely important. Yeah. They're important, but not extremely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, because God weighs out. We got if we think something's important, then we check with God. Yeah. Check with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. and they tell you whether you got to You should go or stay. Right. You know? Like He don't. So he, He'll tell us what to do. It shows his way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you How are we doing time wise? Yeah. 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 Get it right on the bus. <laughs> time to change the order. <laughs> time to change the order of the service. <laughs> <laughs> Going into another glory. Yeah. Yeah. Well, bless you. And the final word is enjoy the journey.